<clears throat> shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakah Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that uh, continue to rule well and uh, honor to your brothers out there laboring in truth and sincerity. And uh, shalom to your few sincere sisters. You know, I want to get a lesson about, um, you know, um, you know, the Lord despises uh, these wicked ass holidays, basically. You know, you know I want to get into that. You know, if it's not of the Lord, you know, like the, you know, uh, like the Shabbat, you know, like I'm about to speak on when I uh, bring out some scriptures. If it's not of the Lord, you know, he, he, um, if it's not of the Lord, it's not right. It's wicked because you're just trying to do what you want to do. But I'm going to get some scriptures, you know, I'm going to get Amos that's on here. I'm going to read on my, uh, my Bible, um, you know, get some scriptures after that and Lord willing to be edifying. So let's get started. My first script going to be Amos 5 and I'll start at verse 21. <clears throat> I hate, and yes, like I said in one of my videos, you know, you know, I think I was talking about Esau and, uh, and, uh, I can't really remember, but I know I was talking about Esau for sure. You know, the Lord hates, okay? He hates, he hates too. Okay, and it's not of the Lord, and you just celebrating these uh, holidays, you know, so called holidays, um, these pagan ass uh, days. The Lord hates that. I hate, I despise your feast days, okay? He despises your feast days, okay? The stuff that you make up, okay? Like your uh, birthday, self worshiping, um, uh, Christmas. Um, I know the fig tree represents a rod, and I know the I don't know the thing, the name of the round thing, but people know what I'm talking about. Um, that represents, you know, a woman. Uh, you know what? Okay. Uh, what else? Halloween. That's obvious. And uh, you know, thanks killing. You know, that goes back to um, uh, um, the slaughter of our of our of my, of my brothers. Uh, you know, the so-called Native Americans, the Gadites, and the Reuben. Okay. Uh, Reubenites. Um. Uh, the Simeon Indians, um, you know, it's the celebration of the slaughter, the, their, their slaughter, basically, okay? And other other uh, so-called holidays, they're really pagan, though, okay? They're wicked, okay? Um, and I will not smell your solemn assemblies, okay? Uh, verse 22, though ye offer me burnt offerings and in, in, uh, uh, so like in, in your meat offerings, I will not accept them, neither will I regard the place, so like it, regard the peace offerings of your uh, fat beast. Okay, take, verse 23, take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vows. Verse 24, but let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. So the point was in verse 21, okay, you know, if it's not the Lord, and you just celebrating these things out of your own heart. You know, it's not of the Lord, like I keep saying. Um, you know, you, uh, you're being wicked. Simple as that. So I'm going to get my next scripture. Uh, Jeremiah 10. Okay. Jeremiah 10 and 2. Okay. And it reads, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Excuse me. Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Okay, it says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, learn not the way of the heathen. Okay, so you celebrate these wicked ass so called holidays, these pagan ass days, you're walking in the way of the heathen because that's not our cousin. They're they're um you're following the heathen. You're following the uh You're following somebody that's not even better than you. Just keep it real with you. They it should be the other way around. They should be following the ways and statues of the Lord. Okay, learning that from us. Okay, that's how it's supposed to be. But we're in captivity. We're in the bottom right now. You know, it's not like that. It's gonna be like that in the kingdom, though. Okay, but it really should be the other way around. They should be doing what we do. Okay, celebrating. Uh, uh, um, I'm gonna read it again. Then I'm gonna say what I gotta say. Dread my ten and verse two. Thus say the Lord, Yahweh Shemah Shai, learn not the way of the heathen. Okay, like I was saying, they should, they should really be learning our ways, okay? Like um, a feast day, okay, uh, Hanukkah, that's going back to um, basically, um, you know, uh, uh, thanking the Lord for what he did, for all the stuff he done for us. Because the Lord does, he does a lot for us. Everything we're going through, getting fucked up, and et cetera, 
that's really for um uh we deserve it okay because we went off okay but the lord have mercy on us man we still gonna be kings and priests we're gonna be good we have our kingdom okay um but he got he got a judge i just want to throw that in there okay but that no going in hanukkah if that's a feast day you know because uh that no uh brothers but that's what we into uh the shabbat um that's like that's a solemn assembly right there that's part of our custom um uh the passover is part of our custom you know that's what we uh that's what we about okay when when the lord's with it he's with that and we with that too the Lord's not with birthdays, like I said, thanks killing. He's not with none of that. Not with Christmas or nothing. He wasn't born in, in a dead winter, by the way, either. Okay? It doesn't make sense. Okay? He was born, like, springtime. Like, when life, you know, is just life. Not just in a dead winter when it's just dead. Okay? <clears throat> okay? And be, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Okay? Uh, I'm gonna get my next scripture because I vaguely the point is made with that script. So it's gonna be X. Let me see. Yeah, Exodus 23. Exodus 23 and 2. And it reads, <clears throat> Excuse me, it's Exodus 23 and verse 2. And it reads, Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Okay, just because there's a lot of people celebrating their damn near the whole damn world celebrate their birthday doesn't mean it's right. Damn near everybody celebrate Thanksgiving, you know Thanksgiving. I call it Thanksgiving killing because that's what it was about. You no know, killing our brothers. Just because a lot of people do that um, doesn't make it right. Um, Christmas celebrate Christmas celebrate any other wicked ass holiday, pagan ass day. Just because a lot of people doing it doesn't make it right. Okay. So um. Continue this thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak and cause to decline after many to uh, uh, rest judgment. Okay, just because, like I said, there's a lot of people doing it, doesn't make it right. You know, a bunch of people doing, uh, I ain't gonna say that, no need to say that, but the point is made with that already. So, let me get my next scripture Luke 19 is 27. You shouldn't want to do what everybody does anyways, man. Personally, that's how I feel. If the Lord's with it, cool, we with it. If the Lord not with it, then what the hell? It should be that simple. My next scripture is Luke. Um, Luke 19. Luke 19 and 27. And it reads... But those my enemies, oh, let me see. Yeah, Luke 19, verse 27. But those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Okay, the reason I'm bringing that out is because if you ain't going to get it right, if you can't get it right, if you can't put down, if you can't put away um, your birthday, no self-worship, uh, and all the other holidays I name, if you can't put that down for the Lord, no, put that away for the Lord. And it's evident, you no, know, the Lord not with that. None of that stuff is in the scriptures. All that's man-made, okay? All that shit's man-made. So it's obvious the Lord not with that. So if he can't put that down, then, you know, the Lord will slay your ass, like the scriptures say, okay? Bring him, bring them, uh, it says, reign over them, bring hither, and slay them before me, okay? You can get slayed um, if, you, if you can't repent and get right over some damn holidays, okay? Come on now. But um, that's the reason why I want to bring that scripture out. So I'm going to get my last script because the point's made. So I'm going to go to Proverbs 1. Proverbs 1. <clears throat> now I read, I'll just read. It wasn't on my list, but I'm going to read this real quick to make a point. Proverbs 1 and verse 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. Okay, a wise man gonna hear this and be like, okay, that's not the Lord. And no, he's gonna do his research and increase the learning. 
and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. Okay, so really, you guys, I guess you guys don't understand. Uh, yeah, you guys not yeah. That's what it says. You guys just don't understand. You're not attaining. You're not um 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 really um listening. Okay, not really taking heed. Okay, what the man and Lord are saying. Okay, you think we just talking shit, but it's facts if you do your research. To understand, verse 6, to understand a proverb in the interp uh, interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. Verse 7, I'm going to go, then after that, I'm going to go to my script that I had. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instructions. Okay, so, you know, through the spirit for me, you know, bring that out. I want to say, you know, when we hear that everything we were doing when we came to the truth, you know, the Lord revealed to us everything we was doing was wicked as hell we, we really was evil you know celebrate our birthday that was evil celebrating thanks killing that was evil christmas all the all the uh all the wicked holidays is evil man all right if it's not of the lord it's evil and we didn't know that but then we found out all that shit's against the lord you no know, contrary to the lord is evil you no know, it makes the lord mad okay he looks upon uh he uh frowned upon that um uh, we took heed. We got scared. We're like, oh shit. We got to. We got to get right. You know, we got to stop doing this. Celebrating our birthdays. Uh, celebrating these wicked ass holidays. The Lord not with that. Okay. And oh, and it's always a dark ass background to it. Anyways, too. People really do their research and really actually care. And some people actually know the backgrounds. Like, I I I, uh, I don't know if I ever said this, but you know, at my job, my old job, some dude was a straight up. Um, he was a native, so called native. I'm gonna call. He was a gadite. You no. Know? But he was a Native American. The reason I say he's a Native American because he 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 didn't he ain't repent. Okay, he he literally said he basically said um, long story short he basically said he know the history. Cause I was telling him like, do you know the history? And he's like, yeah. He basically said, yeah, I know the history. But he was basically like, we celebrated for our reasons or something. It really didn't make no sense to me. So I can't really even say how he said it because it didn't make no sense. He basically said we he basically said we still celebrate it, but we're not celebrating for that reason. But that doesn't make sense. The whole point of that thanks killing shit is you no know, the background is the the slaughter the slaughtering of the so called Native Americans, but he just want I'm just I'm taking the way I took it like he just want to celebrate something and eat and just don't he just don't give a fuck, and he's a straight up yadite too so it's like bro come on now, so he's a fool, and he knows the background too and it's still celebrated so woe unto him plus he repent, cause that shit's retarded man <clears throat> pisses me off. But, um, you know, <clears throat> block it. That shit making me mad. But, um, uh, I'm gonna go to the my script that I had now. Okay. Um, Proverbs 1. Actually, I'll just get to the point. Let me see. Actually, no, no, no. Let me just let me do how I. How I got it in my notes. I'll start at verse 24. Actually, I'll start at 22. Okay. Proverbs 1 and verse 22. How long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity? Okay. How long you guys going to love this sim simple as uh, goofy ass uh, holidays, man? That's against the Lord anyways. They go the holidays. The wicked ass pagan days. Honestly, it's goofy as hell. It's lame as fuck. Um, I just thought about uh, Valentine's Day. That goes back to basically rape. And people celebrating that shit, giving a woman flowers and shit like that. And, and whatever else. But that, that holiday is literally celebrating rape, rape. Like, that's fucking sick. You know, the way they, you know, the way they um, portrayed it. Okay? Uh, okay, you guys are simple as shit. How long are you going to love simplicity? Okay? Because everything this world gives you is simple as shit. Simple and low level. Um, and the scorners delight in their scornery. You guys delight being fools, and fools hate knowledge. Verse 23, turn ye, so I can turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make, I will make known my words unto you. The Lord is letting you know this wicked ass shit, this wicked ass holidays y'all celebrating um, um, is wicked. It's, 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 it's against the Lord. And how is he telling you? He's telling you through his men, his, his uh his servants, okay? Because the Lord speaks through men. You know, if you do more, if you do research, um, you, you see scriptures talks, uh, plainly says, um, 
uh, um, every eye shall see um, um, my prophets. That's one of them, roughly paraphrasing. And um, that the Lord speaks through men. Okay, I think I did a lesson about that. I'm not sure, but you know, there's plenty of lessons out there about that, even if I did or not. Okay, and the scriptures on that. Because brothers back up our word, we back up our words with the scriptures. Okay, so um, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, like I just said, through the men of the Lord. We letting you know, you just ignoring it. I will make known my words unto you. If you don't listen, woe unto you, destruction unto you. Verse 24, because I have called and ye refuse, I stretch, I stretch out my hand and no man regard it. That's what the Lord is doing through his man. He stretch out your hand, stretch out his hand for you to do better, for you to be wiser, for you not to um, tempt the Lord. OK, by trying to be righteous as possible. I'm not saying I'm righteous, you no, know, but brothers, sincere brothers, we are trying to walk righteous as possible as we can. We're not trying to purposely just be wicked as shit. Um. Out my hand and no man regarded. Y'all didn't regard. Y'all didn't listen. Y'all just take heed. Y'all just wanted to do what y'all want to do. Do as I will, spirit. But ye have set at not all my counsel and would none of my reproof. I will also laugh at your calamity, and um, I will mock when your fear cometh because they didn't listen. Verse twenty-seven: When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a wire wind, when distress and anguish come upon you. Verse twenty-eight: Then shall they call upon me. But will I? But will? But I will not answer. Okay, you think everything is sweet and shit because you're looking at the men of the Lord like we ain't nothing. Like the Lord really not dealing with us. That's why y'all don't listen. So, uh, really, y'all don't listen because yeah, that's the reason why y'all listen, of course. And um, the main thing is because the Lord's got that angel blocking you. Okay, got you, got your ears fat. Okay, blocking you. Everything going over your head. Okay. Um. And uh, it says, then the shell they call upon me, but I will not answer. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to call upon the Lord when shit start getting really uh, ugly. You're supposed to be calling upon the Lord before all that shit start getting ugly. You're supposed to believe before all this shit start happening, you know. But you want to believe when your family getting killed, okay. And you're just getting fucked up. You should have been repenting when shit was looking so-called normal, okay. So just want to throw that in there real quick. Verse 29, for they that hate knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord. That's you not choosing to fear the Lord, you know. You just um, doing what you want to do. Do as I will. They would none of my reproof. Um, it's like it. They would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat of their fruit. No, it's like it. Therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own deceit uh, devices. Okay. You saw you, you saw, basically you saw wickedness. So you're going to get you're going to get what you're going to get. You're going to get death. Okay. You wasn't sowing. Y'all about me shy. You doing the opposite. So you're going to get the opposite. You're not going to get help. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, <laughs> and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Ooh. But whosoever, no, not whosoever, but whoso hearkened unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from spirit. I mean, from spirit, um, from fear of evil. Okay. So shit, if you ain't gonna get right, no, that's a cut. That's plain right there. If you can't, um, uh. Turn away from these wicked ass holidays, your birthday. You know, you can't get with the Lord. If you can't get with the Lord program, woe unto you. So the point is made, you know, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash, Brakati Yahweh, Brakati El Shai, Brakati Yahweh, Ba'ashim El Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continue with well. Honor to your brothers out there laboring in truth and sincerity. And Shalom to you, few sisters out there. With that, I want to say, Ba'ba Ba'ba. DTA, shalom.